Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Mario Gandra and this is the third video tutorial of a series of videos uh, to teach and learn on how to use katma.de. So in the last in the previous video we have learned to create a project, name the project and add um, documents, texts and annotation books. So today we are going to get inside this this test project that we have created in the last video. Okay, here we are and today we are going to learn on how to add members to your project and how to manage these members and how to synchronize the, the modifications on the projects with them. So if you don't see this box of, uh, of members, please roll, slide your screen down and you're going to find it. So here we can add a member. <coughs> Let's see here. Uh, I ask you who are going to be on the workshop on summer school this year to add, firstly, Professor Ana Sodero. Let's use her as an example here. So, Ana Sodero, the system is searching, and here she is. So, just click here, and the person can be added to your project. You can add a person as a partner or as an assistant. Uh, the assistant has some limitations uh, to the, the, the role of assistant has some limitations on the project and partner has almost all uh, um, clearance like the, the creator of the project. So uh, please choose uh, Ana Sodero for partner in your, uh, in your project and uh, click OK. Then you can add me, myself, Mario. I can't give you this example fully because I am the creator of this project, so I can uh, show this completely, but you would, you can uh, type here Mario Gandra, separated or together. Uh, I don't know if the system will find me, though. No, the system will not show me because uh, I already own, the, own the, the, this project, so it won't show me. So just type Mario Gandra together or separated and the system will find me just add me as partner to your projects, okay, for this workshop. So we can help you during the, uh, the workshop there in Karlsruhe. Okay, so with the members added, you can obviously manage the, these members, you can remove members, you can edit them, um, so you can change the role, and that's it. Okay, uh, since you already added some some members to your project you can now learn about the synchronization and the commits <coughs> what are these so when you make any change to your project uh, the, the the these changes are being saved on the in the server the the the, the server in github so your project is saved on on github server if you work on your projects for several hours, then you log out. When you log out, it saves. All changes are saved in your GitHub server. Okay. Um, so you don't have a, a, a save button. But if you make changes to the project and just log out and leave Katma for the day, your partners the members of this project will not see, will not access the changes that you have made. For them to, to see the changes and, and recognize the ch these changes, you have to click on sync. When you click on sync, this sync button here is to synchronize with other members of the project. It's not to save your modifications but to synchronize them with other members. So when they log in, they will be able to, to see the changes. 
So it's very important when working with uh, other members, other partners in, in a project to always click on sync to synchronize the changes with them. Okay. So this is important. Um, and also the commit button. What's, what's this? So as I told you, you may work on your, your project for one hour, two hours on a day and then you log out. This is going to be saved, as I told you, in the server in, in GitHub as one file, one saved file. So all changes to the project that you have made will be saved as one big change, okay? Uh, but if you want to make several, uh, it's like uh, several um, versions of your work this that day, for example, then you have to to commit to changes. For example, let's say you you come here and uh, you add a, a an annotation collection. Oh, here. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to choose the the text document okay so here it's another collection so if you want to save only this change on your project you can click on commit all changes and there on the server on github it's going to be saved a file with only these uh, i mean all the, the the changes that you have made until you click you have clicked on on commit all changes you see so you can make many save saves uh, in a day of work uh, if you want to this is not necessary but uh, if you want to do this you obviously you ha you have to go to github and log in there on on katma project to to retrieve all these various saves that you have done to your work but know that uh, if you log out, just log out of your project, it is at, at all changes at, are going to be saved. And when you log in again, they are there on your project. No problem at all. OK, so let's uh, just uh, delete these annotations, collections, these annotation collections. OK. So this is the, the how to add member, how to uh, manage them, uh, how to synchronize data with them. So here I'm synchronizing again and how to commit to changes uh, or, or in other words, make some uh, saved files from your projects or from your changes. OK, so uh, we see we see you in, in Karlsruhe in some days. And there we are going to continue this, this, uh, these tutorials as the workshop uh, proceeds. Uh, we are going to learn how to create tag sets, how to create tags and sub tags, how to add properties to these tags, and obviously how to annotate um, a document. It means how to to mark up and annotate your document to further uh, content analysis. And then we have here the analyze tab that you are going to finish on the post uh, online post phase of the of the summer school, autumn school. <laughs> OK, I uh, hope you like this video and we see we see you guys soon in Germany. Bye bye.